are working on the pump here. We're gonna take this off. We just torched all those uh, bolts because they're so corroded that there's no chance they're opening. So before we wasted any time, Ferdy torched those off. I grabbed a punch and we're gonna hit out all those bolts. And uh, I can see from right here but there's a piece of steel here, so either that's part of the flipping thing and it blew in. But, yeah, I have no clue what to expect in there at the moment. I have not looked in there yet, but I got all the bolts loose. So what I expected, basically, the flipper valve just wore out so bad that it, pew, right through there. And that would be why every time we would turn it, no matter what we did, it did not change how hard it was pumping. It was literally 50-50 pumping and agitating because even though this thing is only six inch and that's eight inch, since the steel is blocking basically half the hole or not more, um, it made our pumping into a six inch. This sucker was filling so slow it sucked, but <sighs> yeah. We'll get it opened up, hopefully. Well, that went better than expected on getting these bolts out. I just put a ratchet on them and they opened right up, which is crazy. But yeah, we're gonna get this thing out now. You can see that there's still rubber on there a little bit, but that housing was so rotted out that it couldn't hold together anymore. So this is the housing. Still rubber on it, but that's supposed to be curved in a U. It's in a U, but in the wrong way. All right, we'll try to get the new one in there now. When you do this, we ordered the whole like inside steel part, but for some reason they only gave us a rubber part. But because <laughs> Because that's the only parts they gave us, and I need this thing running tomorrow, we're gonna put it together. I opened up these two bolts, and I swung it that way. And now you can see, when it's agitating, it's like that. And when it's pumping, it's like that. We're in the shop with this. Christoph got done the Peterbilt. I think he said he wants to change the other shop, the other spring at some point, because it didn't look like it was in the best shape. But besides that, I got mine in here, it's off the tank, because the other day I was walking around it and I noticed there's a gap here. This bearing's blown out and so is the other side, so. Yeah, why are you bogus? <laughs> this man. Why'd I break it? I don't know, something to do. Something to do, Henry. Anyways, so I can't get this pin out. I think, was it two or three years ago, Christoph, you did this top, the top bearings? I did both top three years ago. Three, I was in college, so it was longer than three. Three, four years ago, maybe? I'm not sure exactly. But he did these. Yeah. They were a pain in the ass to get out, but in the end, did you get both out, or did you have to replace one cap? Um, yeah. well, we got both out. I bought a cap. <laughs> well, he was able to get them out, but here, one of the wedge points, they stick behind this. So you can't actually get behind it on top. You can only get underneath and I can't get it moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch this pin right off. Hopefully we can get the other pin at least moving. If not, I'm going to torch that one off. This is going to flip down and then we can just directly hit it and at least get it out. It sucks, but that's what we're going to do. You're playing with a ball? Your turn. My turn. Not your turn. Is that good? Whoa. Not on the
can't get the whole torch tip down there. I, I, didn't, I didn't have the camera on, but I got it chopped mostly, and then I pried it over a little bit. I got the torch tip down. I sliced it, and then I had this beat in there. It started spreading, and then I was able to open it more and finish cutting it. So this is loose. So the pin is still in this housing, but we'll see if we can get the other side moving. If not, we're going to cut that one too. This will flip down, and then we can beat on it. And if it doesn't work beating on it, we'll blow a hole through it, and we'll get it out one way or another. Kristoff here. He's working on the Volvo uh, front window. Opa broke it. That's what. <laughs> that's from Henry. <laughs> but the other one, they got a stick to it, and it spider webbed it. It's sitting right over here. You can't see out of the damn thing. Um, so first I was putting a new one, and he thought this was gonna be a fast job. Instead, you have to pull every single bolt off the housing. I see he's got a wrench on his screwdriver for extra torque. Yeah. It was tight. I actually had it. It's probably torqued, but this is my torquing. He's torquing it to German specs. Henry right here, he's attempting to learn how to drive the excavator next. He's already figured out the Masseys with the CVTs. You stick them on your lap, and he will speed it up, slow it down, and steer it wherever you want. All right, so I got this side torched off too. Burned myself, well, once. With torch sparks but um so it's down that far right now you can see this pin is is loose Kristoff's supposed to be turning the wheel but i think he's playing with henry right now so once he turns it um that way we can get in both sides and then i don't know why it's not flipping down maybe it's catching on the other side and then um Where's the new pin? So we have one new pin. So basically what I cut off is this, this part that's in the housing that holds the bearing. But this large piece right here has been sitting in here, right here since 2007 when this tractor was built and it's seized. And for some reason in the factory, they don't believe in anti-seize. So when we did this one, or when Kristoff did this one, this one got anti-seized. So in the case of us having to do it someday in the future again, it'll come out, hopefully, and I don't have to torch it. And we're going to anti-seize the other one. So we got to buy one more pin. Either Christoph said it's $500 or it's $1,000 a pin. But it sucks. Can't change it. And then, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I almost burnt my torch hose. Alrighty. So now I guess you want to turn the wheel back and I can I can get in one side after. We'll beat that sucker out. And then uh, we'll go from there. Well, I got it moving. Now Christos being a fine gentleman. He's holding the hammer. No, you keep going. You got a half an inch. Oh, fuck me. Perfect. Right. So, Ferdy switched out with Kristoff. So, this pin I haven't hit yet, so we're going to find out. Is it going? I don't know. I don't think it moved yet. It hasn't moved. The other one went early, faster. <laughs> twice and it started Twice, moving. is it? Yeah, and it started moving. Uh. Oh, jeez. Well, you can't swing good. I think it's breaking. I see it wiggling. Oh, yeah. 
You see, he even has safety glasses on. Yeah. That's we are shit my eyes on this project, so we found him. It did go though. So. And we and he noticed it early enough that. Ah, oh, fuck. The it's getting hot. Bushings didn't wear through, so. Holy shit. I it's good the valve stems on here. It's over here. Oh, okay. I almost hit it. <laughs> the dealer already has the parts up there. We just gotta go no, grab. They nope. had everything but this pin we just ordered. Well, that's awesome. Because the plan was not to torch them off, but we torched them off. We have one, but we don't have two. <sighs> so will they have it tomorrow? Are they just gonna ship it yeah, here? No. But they did just order them. Oh, okay. Well. And uh, we'll probably just wait to get the 74 from the dealer. When they have it? Yes, because our tractor's done. They had to do brakes on it. Yeah. Because it, and then uh, the brake. It break. initially went up there for when you turn the four ways on and the tractor was off, it would surge the fuel pump and it would light up like a Christmas tree in that tractor. Ended up being, it took them three hours to find out someone put a fuse in the wrong slot. Yeah. And it was circulating power. I don't know how it happened, but it did. But no one would think a fuse would cause that problem. We thought a wire was chewed. Yeah. And then we told them the parking brake wasn't holding good. We didn't have time to do brakes on it. They ended up saying all the brakes were shot. So they did the brakes for us because we just don't have time. Yeah, and then they also had to do the brake module because that started leaking. Yep, the foot brakes because when they yeah. changed the brakes out, the pressure, the pressure held better. <laughs> and the brake module and it started, started leaking in the cab. Yeah, the one I changed out three, four years ago. I never did the accumulator, and you're supposed to do the accumulator when you do the brake pedal module. And uh, I didn't know that until I posted the video on YouTube and we were already using the tractor. But they did both this time, so it shouldn't blow again. Anyways, I'm gonna keep hitting this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna have to hold the hammer like Chris did in a minute. Okay, where's that hammer? Oh. Do you have the hammer down there? I don't know. He had it somewhere. Okay. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. Angle it down a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, hit it up a little. You're not on the pin. Nope. We decided to uh, skip a couple hits couple? and just uh, get the end here so he looked glorious. Okay, maybe we'll. we'll... Get him tired. <laughs> oh. That one was my fault. Holy cow. Hammer's getting fucking heavy. <laughs> oh. At least you're not breaking this one. What? The last one you hit five well, times. Well, I broke the other sledgehammer. Oh, so you, two in two in two days? That's good. No, I didn't break this one. No, but you broke one yesterday on the uh, Peterbilt. Yeah. And you broke one here? No, I didn't break. Oh, just one. just one. Not yet. Well, don't break that one. It'll come back to my face. There we go. See? Oh, glorious. You don't need those shims. Okay. Getting some water now. At least nothing's uh, worn out, so that's kind of nice. Just got to take these. This thing is getting anti-seize. Why the hell, and I mean this to any manufacturer, can't you put anti-seize and shit like this in the factory? It's stupid. <laughs> okay, this shit's going to break. It's a bearing. So what I'm going to do now, I don't have all the parts here, but at least get stuff ready. I'm gonna take torches, cut that race out. Um, it'll be easier that way. And uh, we'll cut that out on both sides. And I'll grab some sandpaper, probably when I'm gonna put it together, and just take the any buildup that's in there out. And then we'll have to wait for the rest of the parts to come to finish this, but. 
Should work. I can't turn the wheels anymore because I um, didn't realize that this was so much support for uh, holding the axle from spinning side to side. I figured this thing would hold it, but it does not hold it enough to be able to uh, steer my wheels. So I'm glad they're at least straight so I can work on both of them. But it is a little tight now. I was hoping to steer it, work on one side and steer it back and work on the other side. So I have a lot of room, but some is better than none. All right, here, I guess got another glove here for Krista. So we are over here, the new barn, and we have to replace the pump here. So this is the gray water. We had to pump it back into the into the parlor and just have it flush down into the manure pit because this uh, motor and pump normally brings it inside. I'll show you the other pump inside, which is the high pressure. So to wash down um, the parlor normally, but it went the other day. So we got a new one. It's pretty simple actually. It's just a half horse ghouls water pump um, and it literally just has an outlet so nothing really major so we just gotta get this one off put this one on it should be all set so we're just gonna take the two bolts off we got a new gasket here so anyway I also I guess not very hard and we're just gonna move this whole thing over to uh, to this one so I think it was shorting out in here because uh it would stay on for a few seconds and that uh, once i disconnected it the pump inside stayed on that one stayed on yeah so i'm but i didn't want to run it forever to see if that's the problem so that's what i'm assuming because i was able to turn it on but I I there was a basket left. no so probably didn't have a lot all the pressure either so maybe we'll have a little bit more pressure because it seems a little off, but put these bolts on there. Here. Trying to go out the washer. Yeah. 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 This pump actually is quite heavy, so we gotta. Oh, yeah. We gotta put the rope back on it because you're not gonna just uh, drop it down there willy dilly. So, uh, I'll let Chris off do this. So. They had an, an old electrical cable, I think that's what they used, but it just goes on the handle. So we'll, we got, I, looks like we got enough water in there. We'll turn it on, make sure it works, and then probably push the feed up before we head home. Well, they might have done it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, then, yeah. Before they go home. So we'll just check it out. not drop my phone uh, take this off uh, uh, uh. so yeah any water so from like the wash and like down on the floor from the bolt tank and everything and I guess like even the water from the uh, wash machine and stuff for the towels all that water comes into here and then it gets repurposed after to like wash down the parlor and stuff um that way you don't waste water really um and then then it goes into the manure pit after that so that's how this works which i do have a system sort of like this at home i just have to it's just different it's, yeah it's just different Yeah, it just drops straight down and then it just. Yeah. 
Hopefully I don't need a torch. I'll just hold it steady. Uh, yep. Okay. I took it out by myself and that was less than ideal. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Alright. You can hold the phone, I'll go down there and I'll spin okay. it. Step on this shit. So it won't go fucking. Okay. It's a grab. I'm too fat to go down there. I ain't trying. Hey, this. the content would be better though if you tried. <laughs> it would be better, but nobody needs to see a big fat ass sick me out. What do you want about this? It was wrapped around this. Right, just so it doesn't go down. Just so it doesn't go down. Right. And then it kind of came up here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's fine. So. Same thing with this. I guess I got the little thing if you need it after. If you want to tie it up again. Well, I was. This. I guess. And you uh, strap it. Uh, yeah, and then this kind of just went. On the back side. I don't want to break it though. Oh. I think this one's thicker. Yeah, I don't like that. I just don't go I through it. I think we're gonna. This. Yeah. All right. So I'll show you where the other one is. Back here. Comes up. I think it comes in from this one and then it leaves this one. So it's just another high, another jet pump here. So then that's how that works. 